Our first design here has some issues regarding excess white space and typography, so let's see how we can improve this design. The first issue is their navigation. There's just way too much white space between their nav items. I also don't like their font selection, and I don't think it matches well with the headline text, which is Bebos. So I use more simple sans serif font, the one and only Poppins. They have way too much white space all around their design, so I take their shoe photos and I really enlarge them to consume more of the available layout. Now also notice how I made the headline text black. Too much colored type, in this case red, isn't ideal. Finally, to add depth, you can add low contrast background elements behind your transparent assets. Here I'm using their approach of rounded rectangles uh, just behind the shoes. For our second design, we have some issues with topography and white space as well, so let's kick it up a notch. The first thing I've adjusted is the scale of the logo. It was just too large on the original design. And then next up, there are also two buttons in the navigation. Now, I'm never a fan of adding gray shadows on buttons that have pastel-like backgrounds. The gray and that color just don't mix well. Notice how much leading or line height they used on their headline type. That much white space between the lines of type will break the layout in a sense and make it more difficult to establish visual hierarchy. Finally, some illustrations and photographs just aren't a good fit for a particular layout. I decided to search for a better, higher quality illustration to use here and ended up using a free illustration found in the Figma community. This is a great resource for finding all sorts of things uh, like graphic design assets, icons, illustrations, etc.
Next up is a quite busy hero section. I like the type for the most part, but we're really going to work greatly on decluttering the overall design. For the most part, their navigation is structured well already. The only thing I change is to ensure that the middle nav is centered horizontally. Now, they do have a good photo asset with a transparent background. This is going to be the primary asset that I use. Any other photograph asset that's used should be a watermark as to not add too much distraction in the design. And here's where I bring in another photograph. This is a cool way to take a regular photograph and turn it into a watermark. You change the luminosity and adjust the opacity as such and it becomes a nice watermark as you'll see in a second. Now chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably want to be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022 and that will give you 22% off at checkout.